OK, this is a reminder of algebraic division, which you actually did back in core one. So um, what we're doing, well, let's, let's think about what division with numbers means. So if I'm doing something like 17 divided by 4, OK, well, that means I'm trying to think about making 17 as 4 times something. So what do I need to multiply 4 by to make 17? Well, I can't do it exactly, OK, I, but I can do 17 times 4, OK, and then, in order to make it come out right, I need to add 1. So this thing here is called the quotient, and this thing here is called the remainder. OK, so that means I need four of these fours to make 17, but I have one left over. So another way of writing this um, conclusion, I could say the quotient is four and the remainder is one. OK, or I could say that 17 over four, because we're dividing by four, so that's like over four. OK, equals, well, the whole number part of the answer is four. OK, plus the remainder was one and that I couldn't divide by four. I could make another four out of it. So I can write it as a simplified whole number plus a fraction. OK, so we can give exactly the two uh, same formats of answer when we come to do this algebraically. So what are we trying to achieve? Well, uh, this is like my 17 and this is like the four I was dividing by. I need to express this answer as the bracket x plus 2 times something. So what I'm aiming to get is uh, 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 23 expressed in the form x plus 2 times a big bracket. And then at the end of that, OK, I'm going to need um, plus or minus a remainder. So we've got to figure out what's going to go in this big bracket. So uh, in order to do that, we use the grid method. OK, so um, I'm going to need to do x plus 2 times a big bracket, and the answer's got to be all of this. So this is the bit where we fill in uh, the terms in the grid. So um, I need to create a 2x cubed. I need to make sure this pops out. And the only way that's going to pop out is if I have a 2x squared times the x to give me 2x cubed. So that means this bracket, I can fill it in right away, is going to have a 2x squared in it. OK, now in this position in the grid, whether I want it or not, I'm going to get 4x squared, 2 times 2x squared. OK, and now I need to consider the x squared term. So here, the x squared term, I've got a minus 3x squared, but here I've got 4x squared. So in order to make it work out, I'm going to need minus 7x squared. In other words, these two terms here are going to have to combine to give me the next term in the target expression. So how am I going to make minus 7x squared here? Well, I've got an x, so I need to be multiplying that by minus 7x. But when I do that, I'm going to have down here a 2 times minus 7x. I'm going to have minus 14x. So these two terms are both going to have x's in. All right, and they've got to give me this minus 4x. So minus 14x, I need to add a 10x in order to get the correct answer. So I've made this uh, this term here work. So that one's worked. That one's worked. Now, um, in order to create this 10x, I'm going to need a 10 to multiply by my x. And down here, I'm going to get uh, 10 times 2 is 20. OK. Um, but if I now do the same thing again, uh, in order to make the 23, I've got 20. I'm three short. So some people like to carry on the, the table and say, OK, I need two things here that add up to the 23, and that's a 3. But in a way, I've stopped the table. I've got down to a constant. This is the multiplication of the bracket, so I can fill that in now. Minus 7x plus 10. So this makes everything that's actually within the main grid. But this 3... OK, that was left over. I couldn't make that in the grid. That's my remainder. So I need to put a plus three on the end. So one way to express this answer is when I do this divided by this, how many of these do I need to make that? Well, the answer is I need that many. So the quotient is the 2x squared minus 7x plus 10. And the remainder is my three. Now, normally, OK, um, you have questions where you have to talk about the remainder. We're going to just uh, remind you of the uh, remainder and factor theorems in just a second um, in the next video. But uh, the remainder is often of interest on its own. But normally, I'm just interested in the whole thing. I'm trying to transform some algebra. In fact, a really common, uh, I mean, this is one way of expressing what we've done. But the other way of expressing it is to say 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 23. We're dividing by the x plus 2. OK. Uh, 
And the answer to that is, okay, well, what I'm doing actually is I'm taking this expression here and I'm just dividing both sides by the x plus 2. So when I divide this side by the x plus 2, okay, dividing this bit by x plus 2 is just going to cancel off the bracket of x plus 2. So it's 2x squared minus 7x plus 10, okay. But when I divide the last bit by the x plus 2, I end up with a fraction of 3 over x plus 2. And that should remind you of this way of writing 17 over 4. Okay, I could make 17 over 4 using 4s by doing 4 lots of 4, which is this 4 here. And then this remainder of 1, I have to write as 1 over 4, because that bit doesn't come out exactly when I divide by 4. So um, that's the same thing that's going on here. We have the, the answer to the division is the quotient, and then plus the remainder divided by the bracket I was dividing by. Okay, so if that made sense to you, oh, oh by, by the way, uh, the, the, the top of this page just emphasizes that you can always spot the leading term of the answer just by blinding obviousness. In other words, we're dividing something starting with 2x cubed divided by something starting with x, or well, 2x cubed divided by x is 2x squared, so I'm going to start with 2x squared. So it's sometimes useful to be able to predict what the first term is going to be, and you can do that just by looking at the first term of the top and the first term of the bottom and dividing those. Okay, so if you've got that idea, all right, it's exactly the same for part B. So I will do another video of part B, but before viewing that video, I strongly recommend that you try it for yourself, see how far you get, set up the grid, see if you can get the answer in this form. And if you can do it without, um, without having to watch uh, the video in, in detail, then good for you. But ch do check your answer. Okay, so watch the video to check your answer is what I'm saying. Okay, I'll shut up now.